latest on a new tropical storm that has formed in the Mozambique Channel, Tropical Storm 18S, which has winds estimated at 40 miles an hour and a pressure of around 998 millibars. It's at 16.9 south, 41.6 degrees east at 7 p.m. Eastern African time. On the CDPS scale, this is the potential for the next five days and it could track into Mozambique as a very intense cyclone. If it did that, at its, co at its uh, projected intensity and impacts, it would be a stage six on the CDPS. At the minute, that is not yet the case. The storm is just forming, but it will gain intensity over the next few days, we expect. That's why we are expecting the damage potential to be catastrophic. At the minute, it's 81 miles from Juan de Nova, 180 miles from Main Tirano in Madagascar, 295 from Moandava, 315 from Kelimani in, Ma in Mozambique, and 487 from Beira. Uh, the yellow area is where we expect tropical storm conditions to occur in the next 48 hours. We expect Mozambique will probably not receive tropical storm conditions from this initial phase. Uh, but later on in the forecast track, which you're about to see, is where the uh, is where the tropical storm conditions will arrive on Mozambique. So this is the end of the weekend coming into early next week. You can see the storm rounding the corner there towards the south and then moving off towards the west through the channel, away from Madagascar eventually after delivering tropical storm force winds, really intensifying, could reach category 4 status according to one or two models. Um, and then towards Mozambique landfall there on Thursday. By the looks of things, still as a very intense cyclone. The JTWC thinks it will be winds of 130 miles per hour at their latest update, and uh, some models say maybe a little bit more. Uh, sea surface temperatures are very warm indeed, 28 degrees at minimum, probably up to 30 degrees in some areas, especially when it tracks towards the west. Of course, if it does stall, that's probably the only thing that's really going to stop this storm from intensifying. And at the minute, we do expect for it to be moving fast enough for it not to be impacted by upwelling. So here's the GFS model again. You can see hurricane conditions by this point moving through the channel from, west to, from east to west and then making landfall in Mozambique. Uh, there again moving inland uh, really dissipating quite quite rapidly after it does that uh, nothing like what we saw with say cyclone Dineo of 2017 which survived for a very long time after moving inland so these are the chances of tropical storm force winds now 90% in Juan de Nova 70% in Mayan Tirano 20% down there in Basasta India 60% in Beira and 30% further inland so the JTWC and the HWRF on board with Category 4 status, the GFS just about reaching Category 3, certainly looking at its, the expected pressure from the GFS calling for Category 3, well we'll see. Uh, wind shear as you can see from the GFS model expected to remain near nil. Sea surface temperatures are very warm for the next 4 or 5 days, relative humidity is marginal. And there you can see again the track forecast there, initially towards the east, very quickly turning south and then west. Here's the latest imagery in actually what's going on right now, and this is how it's looking. Still pretty disorganized, so there's been some big flare-ups earlier today, uh, but it looks like it's dying down a little bit. It'll probably burst up again overnight tonight. Uh, you can quite clearly see in those latest frames where the center of the storm is it's displaced to the west of that convection that's been moving off towards the east there madagascar is in for a pretty wet night um, and looking at the visible imagery finally you can see the system really wrapping up in those latest frames and perhaps rapid intensification on the way we'll see with the next update you can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. Of course, you can come into direct contact with us by uh, messaging fool13 on Discord at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. And our partners are also doing updates. Mateo, a cyclo Maurice on Facebook.